An American exorcist, former Wolf of Wall Street, converted to Medjugorje, tells of his disturbing face to face with the evil one. He did so during a long conversation, which he touched on many topics and focused on various episodes of harassment and satanic possession, firstly, we found out how an exorcist's day starts. In the case of 58-year-old Father Daniel Rehill, an exorcist of the Diocese of Nashville, Tennessee, and director of Radio Maria USA, it begins at dawn. With the alarm clock set at 4.30 a.m., he begins with the adoration before the Blessed Sacrament, attending Mass and receiving the Eucharist. Father Daniel Rehill recently told something of his experience to columnist Michael Knowles in a long video of nearly two hours. The former Wall Street banker, prior to his conversion in Medjugorje, spares no details on the world of finance. A world he knows well, where self-centeredness, greed, and thirst for power mix together to provide a favorable terrain for the action of the devil, the stories of some diabolical phenomena are impressive such as that of a man that the American priest claims to have seen levitating above a sofa, or that of the possessed little nun, no more than one and a half meters tall, barely held back by six men during an exorcism. That same nun who will then see climbing, like a squirrel, on a wall six meters high. One of the most terrifying experiences Father Rehill admits he had, was during his vocational discernment process when he entered the seminary and decided to stop drinking. It was then that he had sort of a, close encounter, with a mysterious figure. As soon as he left the church, around noon, he says he noticed a man fully dressed, staring at him insistently. That same man then accompanies him as he heads towards the office, taking him by the arm and saying, let's go get something to drink. At that moment Father Daniel explains that he felt a shiver run through his whole body and that he said to him, get away from me. He recounts of then immediately turning around and sprinting to his apartment. Once he returned to his room, the doors locked themselves behind him. And looking out the window he still sees that disturbing figure who laughs at him, as soon as he saw him leave, Father Rehill, in shock, went to tell his spiritual director, an old Polish priest, about the face-to-face -face encounter with that obscure individual. He was informed in fact, that that presence was indeed demonic. However, this was only one of the two times the exorcist confesses, in which the devil presented himself to him in person, the second being the figure appearing on a beach in Miami where he had gone to visit his former camp, inviting him the opportunity to leave his hunting ground. Father Rehill, also the director of Radio Maria USA, invites us to be very careful about expressing certain wishes openly. He states that we could literally open the highway to the devil by inviting him. One of the worst cases, says Father Rehill, is the chilling story of a young and talented violinist who, even without being fully aware of it, ended up signing a pact with the devil. This had happened. In a moment of extreme professional difficulty, the man named Niccolò Paganini had expressed the will to do anything to succeed in his work. And, someone, in a dream showed up to collect that, credit line, of his. The man he saw was the most beautiful person he had ever seen, appearing to him in Dezebiel, two typical signs of the devil. Observes the exorcist, with a contract in hand to be signed in blood guaranteed success in exchange for a deal with the devil. After signing with a bloody finger, the contract burned in flames, just a dream you may think. Well no. In the morning he had noticed the wound on his finger, next to him he found some ashes. Soon after this his career took off. But it took years of exorcisms for him to free himself from that demonic pact. Only by signing a new pact, the creed that we recite at Mass, on the indication of the exorcist did he manage to drive away the demonic influence.
If there is anything to take away from this video, please know that the first and most powerful means of protection against the devil lies in the profound love of Our Lady. Only very few things irritate and scandalize Satan more than Mary crushing the serpent's head. Because, explains the Nashville Exorcist, it is one thing to be crushed by God, because everyone knows that God is God. But being crushed by a tiny, little Jewish woman causes a tremendous scandal to the devil.